Hello, I'm Nicola Buchmiller and I work as a saddler here at Kiefer Germany. Today I would like to show you how we can adjust the saddles perfectly to your horse's back by using EquiScan data. We are able to reproduce the horse's back three-dimensionally by using the EquiScan topographer. Here you see a topographer that hasn't yet been adjusted. It's very flexible. And here you see an adjusted topographer. You can easily visualize the back. There are obviously slight or minor declines in the trapezius area and the horse is comparatively slender. On the EquiScan online platform, the complete measurement data is available. This is what I used to fit the saddle to the horse. Here you can see the measuring data that is transferred to the topographer and then additional pictures showing the topographer actually lying on the horse's back. Now the shape of the topographer is being transferred onto the EquiScan model horse back. We make use of a vacuum here. The model horse back is now hard as a rock and you can put the saddle on it. And now you can see very clearly that the saddle is too tight in the tree width. We need to adjust the tree width and maybe also slightly adjust it here in the middle. In the meantime, there are many saddlers and dealers who measure the horses' backs on site and then they send us the measuring data via the online platform. We use it in order to adjust new saddles as well as used ones. We would now like to show you how a topographer actually is adjusted to a horse, together with Anime de Jonquere, equine sports therapist and specialized in the fitting of saddles. First thing always is the assessment of the individual contact area between saddle and the horse's back. In order to create transparency for the owner and or the rider, I mark the relevant criteria also explaining some worth mentioning horse anatomy and biomechanics details to the customer. Here we define the position of the shoulder blades. It is always on both sides of the horse. Horses as humans never are completely symmetric. We define the 18th rib, i.e. the position of the 18th dorsal vertebra and as such the very flexible transition between the thoracic and lumbar spine. Meanwhile, we take notice of the top line of the horse's back as well as of the form of the body of the so-called barrel. This horse is not too high at the croup in relation to the withers, shows however fast ascending lumbar spine. Whilst flexing the horse's croup, we get a pretty good idea where the saddle should definitely not disturb or irritate the horse's movements once the horse is being ridden. The next important criteria is the position of the girt. We could demonstrate later on on available saddles which of those the girts meet the anatomic position. As a quick check basis, one could say somewhat one hand's breadth behind the elbow. Next important issue is the lower part of the trapezius muscles. The saddle should allow for muscle development, which can only be reached allowing muscle movement. In other words, muscles at work. Assessment of the necessary freedom of the spine for later wither and spine clearance. In adapting the saddle, the pain reaction indicates that the fitting of the existing saddle might not have been quite optimal. We also consider the coastal arch as well as the form of the barrel. As we can see, the actual contact area between saddle and horse's back is in fact only a pretty small part of the complete horse's back. The gravity point would be here, also the rider's position. That means in the area of the thoracic 12 and 15. Same procedure on the other side of the horse. We find that with this horse the left shoulder is stronger than the right shoulder. The Equiscan topograph will reflect this condition in a very transparent way. When flocking the saddle, 
we would flock symmetrically considering the stronger shoulder. A non-disturbing saddle would allow for optimized riding and thus allow for these groups of muscles to rehabilitate from their actual atrophic and or hypertrophic status. We now document our findings with pictures. Here we already get a pretty good impression where the saddle will meet the trapezius muscles. We now have the transparent reproduction of the actual contact area of the saddle on the horse's back. The asymmetric shoulder blades as well as the horse being somewhat hollow on the right side is very well represented. An interactive 3D version output can be downloaded after having processed the measurement data in the Equiscan database. A very important advantage of the Equiscan measurement is the possibility of visualizing changes in the horse's back. Later measurements can easily be compared with this actual measurement. It's not only useful for saddle fitting but also for training results. The data will be processed into the Equiscan database tonight and forwarded to Kiefer Service. Kiefer Service then reproduces the topograph and on that basis we together with the customer, can fine-tune the original customer's saddle choice. The relevant saddles are presented to the customer for a test ride, whereby we ascertain that the saddle does not just fit the horse, but that the rider also feels comfortable, as the perfect hinge between the two of them.